Hey folks, good morning and welcome to our midweek message. As you might know, this upcoming Sunday, we are starting a new sermon series entitled In the Garden. Gardens play such an important role within our scriptures. From the beginning of creation that we see in Genesis to the final garden that is restored in the book of Revelation, our Bible is full of garden images. So we are going to consider how gardens give us hope and new life, uh, which now is a perfect time to do that many of us are, are working in our, our own gardens this spring. As you can see, uh, I'm recording this from my backyard where I spend uh, so much time gardening and working with plants. But over the next few weeks, we are going to continue with the theme of In the Garden for my midweek messages. And I'm going to take different things that I have learned from gardening and connect them to our faith. And so today I want to talk about living with a purpose, which I'm going to get to in just a second. But first, here recently I was researching uh, the plant called hellebore. And hellebore grow in late winter to early spring, and they are perfect for, for shady spots in your garden where it's hard to get flowering things to grow. And even though I don't currently have any hellebore in my garden, I love them and I would like to be able to add some in the next year. Now, as I was researching hellebore, I came across an interesting insect that damages them. It's called the hellebore aphid. And the scientific name is Macrocyphium hellebora. Now, you might have heard of aphids before. Aphids are, are sap-sucking insects, and they can be pretty common in gardens. Now, the interesting thing about the hellebore aphid is that it only does one thing. It feeds on hellebore. Now, this might not sound interesting to you, but let me try to put this into perspective. Out of the millions and millions of plant species, out of all the different types of garden pest, out of all the types of aphids, this specific aphid lives with one specific purpose, to suck the juice out of only one genius of one plant. The hellebore aphid does not attack any other plant other than hellebore. Again, it was created only to live off of this one type of plant. Now, I think that's absolutely wild that this specific insect would have such a, a specific and unique purpose in its life. But this got me thinking, if this one random insect has been created with this very specific purpose, then have we all been created with at least one specific purpose? I think the answer is yes. I believe that each of us have a unique calling in our life. And sometimes we are able to discern that calling clearly and right away. Sometimes it takes a long time to discern it. Some of us are able to answer a calling through a specific job that we have, while others fulfill that calling in ways outside of work. And unlike the, the hellebore aphids who forever and always will only suck the juice out of hellebore, our calling in life might change over time. But our faith reminds us that God calls each and every one of us to participate alongside of God in God's redemptive work in our world. Each of us has a unique way of doing that and answering that call based on the gifts that we have been given and based on the needs of the people around us. But again, I believe that each of us have been created with a, with a unique purpose and with unique intention. So today I invite you to consider what has God created you to do? What is your unique purpose? What are you meant to do within this life of yours? I think if God created hellebore aphids with a very specific and unique task, then just consider for a moment the plans that God has for you. So that's the message I have for you today. Thanks for tuning in to our midweek message, and I hope that you'll join us this upcoming Sunday as we continue to explore all the different garden metaphors and imagery within our scriptures. Take care.